Hi guys, so welcome back at the EC Engineering Tutorials. So this time is we're going to solve problems uh, in engineering mechanics. So yung topic will be uh, parabolic cables. So uh, I'm going to divide this uh, session into four uh, parts. So part one will be uh, symmetrical parabolic curve. And we're going to solve this one using conventional uh, solution. And then in part two, uh, we will going to solve this one using uh, purely calculator only. And then in part three, uh, we'll solve unsymmetrical parabolic curve using conventional solution. And then in part four, we'll going to solve unsymmetrical parabolic curve using calculator pure the calculator only okay so to start with uh, dito sa parabolic cable so a suspended cable is assumed to be parabolic uh, if and only if yung uniformly distributed load is assumed to be acting on horizontal projection uh, such as shown dito no? so naka uh, horizontal projection yung uniform load. Uh, that's the difference between the catenary cable. Kasi sa catenary cable, yung uniform load is acting dun mismo sa uh, cable niya. No? Sa cable length, such as shown dito. So ito yung kaibahan ng cable. No? So may kita natin sa catenary cable is yung uniform load niya is uh, acting along the length of the cable. Okay, so that's the difference between the catenary cable and the parabolic cable. So, so dito meron tayong problem, symmetrical, parabolic curve. So, ano daw yung tension dito sa ends? So, symmetrical siya kasi uh, inline lang yung dalawang support niya, no? So, bali yung tanong dito, ano daw yung tension dito sa support? So, since symmetrical lang, so pariho lang yung tension nilang dalawa no? at supports. And then, yung pangalawang tanong is ano daw yung total length ng cable na to? Uh, provided na it is supporting a uniformly distributed load of 10 kN per meter of horizontal projection. So since horizontal yung projection, so automatic yung suspended cable na to is assumed to be parabolic curve, okay? Or parabolic cable. So given yung sag, we have 3 meters. And then yung distance nila, we have 10 meters. Huh? So 5 meters uh, dito sa kabila. Tsaka dito sa kabila din is 5 meters. So a total of 10 meters. So in this part, uh, we're going to solve this one using conventional way. So let's say conventional solution. Okay, so so one property no uh, parabolic curve is Ganito, no? uh, pwede natin ihiwalay yung the lowest point tsaka yung sa support. So, for instance, dito. So, pwede ito lang muna yung i-consider natin. So, ito yung lowest point. Then, ito yung isang support. So, we can consider this K1. So, meron siyang uniformly distributed load. Na 10 kN per meter. At a distance of 5 meter. So, meron tayo dito tension. And then, meron tayo dito distance. Na 
Okay. So, meron tayong horizontal uh, or tension at the lowest point and then tension and support. No? So, meron tayong edge. So, gagawa tayo dito na uh, kukunin muna natin yung equivalent concentrated load ng uniform load na ito. So, we have uh, 10 times 5. So, a total of 50 kilo natin. So, gawa tayo ng first polygon. So, meron tayo meron tayo horizontal edge. So, meron tayo dito tension. So, so, if I assume this is point A, so, considering that one, so, mag-summation tayo ng moment at point A equal to zero. So, assume na lang natin ang ito yung positive na ikot. So, therefore, we have H times 3 meter minus, and we have 10 times 5 times the moment arm, so we have, that is, 5 halves. So, we have 5 divided by 2. So, therefore, this is equal to 0. So, yes, we have the value of H. So, using our calculator here, so we just need to equal 4x times 3 minus uh, 10 times 5 or 50. Okay, equivalent concentrated load and uniform load. Then, moment arm niya na 5 halves. So, this is equal to 0. So, shift solve. So, we get the value of 41.60. Seven kilometers. So therefore, using the uh, polygon natin, so we get the tension. So just square root lang ng h square plus fifty. So so dito ko na kilo na. So plus fifty square. So therefore, this is square root lang in H. So in H natin, so we have 50. I don't know, 41.67. And then we have 50 squared. Okay, so therefore, that is square root lang ng 41.67 squared plus 50 squared. So that value is 65.09 kilometers. Okay, so nasolve na natin yung tension at ends. Ito na yung sagot. Ngayon, yung next na tanong is ano daw yung uh, total length ng cable. So okay na tayo dito sa so, tension at ends. So, ano daw itong total length ng cable? So, balik tayo sa calculus. So, to solve for the total length. So, considering na lang natin yung cable natin. So, bali dito, uh, we will have So, assume ko na lang na yung lowest point will be the vertex. So, I assume this is the origin. So, 0, 0. So, therefore, yung point na to is negative 5 and 3. And then, dito is positive 5 and 3. So, base dito is makakuha tayo ng uh, equation of the parabola. So, the equation of the parabola that opens upward will be x squared equals 4ay. So, since uh, meron tayong at origin. Eh? So, substitute lang natin yung yung point uh, 5, 3. 
So therefore, we have uh, 5 squared equals 4a1 times 3. So therefore, we have 25 4a1 uh, 4a times 3. So that's yung 4a natin. Or wala to sa itong. will be 25 over 3. So ito din yung lato sa itong natin. So therefore, the equation of parabola natin is x squared equals 25 over 10. So, ito na yung equation ng uh, para parabola natin. So, bali we have uh, 25 over 10 yung y. So, kunin natin yung uh, derivative nito. sides so we have 2x plus 1 see the x over the x and then we have 25 over 3 and then we have dy dx okay so so bali dito meron na yung uh, 6x all over 25 that is equivalent to dy dx Okay, so so meron tayong formula sa calculus if you want to compute for the arc length. Diba? So, for example, we take uh, elementary strength na ds. So, meron tayong uh, dx at dy. Eh? So, therefore, yung ds squared natin is equivalent sa dx squared plus the dy squared. So, so, bali dito is meron tayong uh, ds, that is just square root ng dx squared plus dy squared, or it can be written as uh, square root ng 1 plus dy over dx squared. Okay, so ito yung gagamitin natin na formula. So, so bali dito, we have now the arc length. This is just integration ng ds. Integration of square root ng 1 plus 6x over 25 squared. Okay. And then, so, so this is dx so yung limit natin is uh, we want to compute for the overall length so we start from hindi ito na start from negative 5 up to up to positive 5 na? kasi yung, yung limit natin will be uh, x sub 1 x sub so yung x sub 1 natin is from negative 5 up to the positive 5 ok so bali dito using our calculator so uh, that becomes square root lang sa 1 plus uh, 6 x divided by 25 squared all over up from negative 5 up to positive 5. So therefore the answer is 12.043 meters. So ito na yung Okay, so uh, I hope klaro yan. So if you want to compute this integration, uh, you will go back to the uh, concepts sa calculus na. So 
。あの、ミーティングなのに用解決できるね。はい。Okay, so, so, the next na video is, ah,、uh, isolve natin to using, ah,、uh, calculator only. Okay? So, if you like this video, ah,、uh, uh, consider subscribing to our YouTube channel. And if you want to get notified with our newly uploads na mga videos, just click the notification bell. So, keep safe and see you in the next video. Thank you.